You've just taken the leap and bought yourself a brand spanking new ROG Ally X, or you're thinking of getting one and you want to familiarize yourself. Well, this video is here to help you get started on the right foot with this amazing handheld PC. First off, I want to temper your expectations with the ease of this setup. This device isn't a gaming console like a PS5 or an Xbox, nor is it like the Valve Steam Deck. What you may or may not have in your hands essentially boils down to a Windows laptop with some controls slapped on the side in this nice little compact form factor. Windows as a whole isn't optimized too well to handle the handheld experience too well, but Asus has made some additions to make this experience a little bit easier. And once you've done it once, hopefully you'll never have to do it again. So block yourself out some time to complete this setup, and as one of my favorite YouTubers would say, grab yourself a snack and a drink. To get things started, you're going to need your Ally X plugged into power and a stable internet connection. Once you're plugged in, just tap the power button, the Ally should come to life and you'll see a snazzy startup video. After which, you'll be welcome to a screen you may be familiar with if you have ever set up a Windows device. Just follow the prompts here, entering your language and region, all bog standard stuff here, nothing too crazy. After that, you'll have to connect to your local network so I can download some updates. It'll restart and we'll have some more prompts to pretty much just hit next on. A couple more restarts later, you'll be asked to put in your Microsoft account, which you can skip, but I'd recommend putting it in now so that some things later on are a little bit easier. Then you'll be asked to add a fingerprint and pin to log into the Ally, which I think is a handy little addition since you can just press the power button and you'll be magically logged straight into the desktop. Plus, if anyone scrupulous tries to get in without your permission, they'll have a tough time. Privacy settings next. I'll always say no to all of these. Then you can register your device with ASUS by logging in, which I would also recommend you do now, so you don't have to do it later, and you'll have all your warranty stuff sorted. As you'd be getting used to Windows by now, just hit skip or next a bunch more times, um, and make sure you say absolutely not to Office 365, since we've all got access to Google Drive, which in my opinion is better and not a piece of garbage like OneDrive. But after that, we'll have an option you'll almost definitely want to say hell yes to, which is the Xbox Game Pass. If you buy an Ally X in Australia, you'll be entitled to three free months of Xbox Game Pass. I'm not too sure about other regions, but here we get that. And this is why I told you previously to put in your Microsoft account just so that you can get this a lot easier rather than logging in. And I'm not too sure how that works once you're already in, but we can do it now. May as well just do it now. Finally, after all that, your drink and snack are going to come in handy since the Ally is going to download and install a bunch of Windows updates and initialize the desktop environment. So while you wait, I don't know. Watch your favorite YouTuber, play with some action figures, or my favorite option is play some awesome retro games on any other handheld you may already own. Now that we've killed some time, hopefully you've booted into Windows and we're sitting looking at the desktop. Let's go over some basic controls to make this process using the Ally a tad easier. Obviously, we have a touchscreen, so we can use that to navigate for most of what we need to do, but that can get really annoying quickly when there are small things that we need to tap on. This, what is essentially a small tablet screen. Fear not though, there's another way that can be a tad easier than relying purely on the touchscreen. You can actually use the right joystick to control the mouse pointer. Then pretending like your hand is on a mouse, you can use the right bumper as left click and the trigger as right click. Lastly, if you're on a long page, you can use the left joystick to scroll up and down. With these controls, the first thing I suggest doing is clicking on the Windows button, heading over to settings, and then on the left down the bottom, go over to updates, click on the big blue button to download and install all of these Windows updates. I like to wait for all of them to finish and install so that we can restart once and not have to do this a bunch of times. Now, when I restarted my Ally, it booted itself into the BIOS for an update there too. If yours does this, don't panic, it's fine. Just let it run its course and it'll restart again and you'll be back in the desktop. Back in Windows, we can open up Armory Crate by pressing the button on the right of the device under the Start or Menu button, whatever you like to call it. In here, we can use the bumper to move over to the cog, and then in here, we're going to tap or navigate with a D-pad to Update Center. Press on Update All in here too. Then once that's finished, we should be in for the final restart of this guide. Thank goodness. Now that everything's up to date, I want you to open up Armory Crate again and pay attention on that first tab and have a look there at the game launchers and see if there are any there that are missing that you may already have. For me personally, I have games on Epic Games, so we're gonna go and download that now. To fix that, let's go back to the desktop. So just press the Armory Crate button again to close it. Then we're gonna open Edge for the first and only ever time you should have to. So once you're in here, you can download any browser you like to use. I'm just gonna use Chrome. So go to the website, download the installer. Once it's finished downloading, just click on the installer in the downloads and follow the prompts. After that, between you and me, you can go wash your hands because, you know, we had to touch edge. Once that's done, I'm just going to open Chrome, search Epic Games Launcher and download that installer. We'll click on the Downloads tab once it finishes and click on it to launch that installer and we'll begin that process. 
Um, I just clicked next a bunch of times. We only have one drive in the Ally, so it doesn't really matter where it installs or how it installs, in my opinion. Once that finishes, we're going to go back to Armory Crate and see if it recognizes the installation. If not, that's okay. We can just press select and go down to add game or app to library. For me, Epic Games was the first option, so select whatever apps you added, then tap done. And that's it, you've added any other launches to Armory Crate. Next up is just doing some Windows cleanup. We'll get rid of anything we don't need, as well as clean up our startup apps, um, so that we're not bogging down a system with anything non-essential. So, let's click on the Windows button, then on the settings cog once again. Once in here, just type in the search bar uninstall, or add or remove a program and click on that. Then all we're going to do here is go through the list and get rid of anything that you know you're not going to use. If there's anything you're not 100% sure on what it does, just leave it. Um, we don't want to accidentally remove anything that Ally needs to operate, as downloading and finding it later will for sure be a hassle. I just went ahead and got rid of any of the Microsoft apps here that are just taking up space, like, like Word, Excel, Pictures. Now Ally doesn't come with a camera, so you can uninstall that too. But unfortunately, we can't get rid of Edge, but hey, we can't all have nice things. Once you're done with that, go back to the search bar and type in Startup. Here, anything that is toggled on will launch when you turn the device on and can bog your system down and make booting up take a little bit longer. So I just unchecked everything besides Armory Crate. So we'll be using that as a front end to pretty much consoleize the LAX as much as we can. One final thing we're going to do while we're in settings is type in defragment and click on that to go to the defragment and optimize tool. Now, our Ally X only has an SSD, so the defragment part of this doesn't really mean much to us, but we're going to use this tool to optimize our drive and net ourselves a little bit more space. The system's set to do this weekly by default, but I prefer to get this done ASAP just so we're not missing out on any performance. Speaking of performance, I'm going to add in this little thing that I learned the other day to enable our display to use variable refresh rate in windowed borderless apps, since by default it only likes to activate on full screen apps. So back in settings, we're going to head to the system tab on the left, then into display, scroll down until you see graphics, then in there under the default settings header, click on change default graphics settings. Then the option that's unchecked, which is optimizations for windowed games, go ahead and make sure that's enabled. If you want more info on what this does, you can click on the link, but essentially it just lets us use our VRR display in windowed applications. The last thing left to do is right click on our desktop and go into personalize. Here we can customize and make our theme pretty to our liking since you can change your theme, pick another of the default backgrounds. You're also free to go to, go to your browser and download any of your own. Here, all I like to do is start with just enable dark mode, which is under colors and choose your mode. And hey, purple is my favorite color, so we may as well make that my accent color as well. After that, you can go into Armory Crate and in the settings tab and in lighting, you can change the color and mode of your joysticks. So on mine, while I start it up, you can see here, I just have a breathing between that teal color and purple. Just another little personalization thing to make this device your own. And we're done. You made it. It was a bit of a slog, but you pushed through and now you've got a fresh install of Windows to do whatever you like. So now's your chance to go through, change any settings that I might have missed. Um, go onto your game launchers specifically. Go so Steam, Xbox, Epic, whatever you have that you need to log into. Log into them, download all your games. Just explore your device. Then once you've done that, you can do exactly what this wonderful handheld was made to do, play games. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you liked the video, make sure you liked the video. I know this is a bit of a weird one for me. I don't really do a whole lot of talking to camera, so if I'm a bit awkward, um, sorry about that. But um, yeah, make sure you like it if you liked it. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Uh, make sure you leave a comment down below if there's anything I missed or anything you guys want me to cover. Um, I've been playing around with this little thing called Play Night, which is a separate front end, I suppose, kind of similar to how I would use like Emulation Station on an Android device. So if you want a guide on that, is probably what I'm going to do next as I continue to play with this thing and, and get my thoughts um, sorted for a review. Um, but yeah, so if you've all made it this far, thank you very, very much, and I'll see you all on the next one.